I'm a hard working lunch pail man working in the steel mill. Shalom, Mabuhai, and welcome. Last weekend, Backstreets, a popular website devoted to singer Bruce Springsteen, shut down after more than 30 years. Now, it's no surprise when a website shuts down, even one that has been around for a long time. But this website shutting down made national headlines. Naturally, some of Springsteen's most solid fans, who were regular visitors to the site for years, were upset. They called it the end of an era. And it was. The reasons that the owners of the site gave were twofold. One, they had been doing this for 30 years and they were getting old and tired, which is understandable, but the second reason is key. When Springsteen announced his upcoming tour, ticket prices were through the roof. Some tickets cost up to $5,000. That's over 273,000 pesos. And that doesn't even include the fees to park your car or even a hot dog and a soda. Many of the solid fans were in an uproar. But he has been a millionaire his whole life, practically. He's 73 now. How many more millions does this working-class hero really need? To make matters worse, when Springsteen was directly asked about it in the press, he replied, well, if there's any complaints, you can have your money on the way out. On the way out? The fans don't have enough money to get in, much less get a refund on the way out. For the Backstreet's fan site, this was the straw that broke the camel's back. This was something that they could not defend. And you know, solid fans, they will defend everything their idol does. Backstreet's had had enough, and after 30 years, they shut down. Now please hear me clearly, okay? I am not knocking, making money. I didn't start this YouTube channel for my health. I started it to sell ads and to get paid speaking engagements. And a concert is not a necessity like food or water. If you have $5,000 to spend on a concert ticket, go for it. And I hope you have a really great time. But for 50 years, Bruce Springsteen at least pretended like he cared about the regular guy. His persona, his image, his words were crafted to resonate with the common people. Even most of his songs played up the whole, I'm a hard-working lunch pail man working in the steel mill. You know, that kind of shtick. But now I recall the final chorus to one of Springsteen's songs. So when you look at me, you better look hard and look twice. Is that me, or just a brilliant disguise? Well, now we know. Bruce Springsteen plus glitter equals David Bowie. So what can we learn from all this? Well, you look to the second commandment. You shall have no idols, American or otherwise. God wants us to place our trust, our faith, our belief in him, not in people, and especially not celebrities like rock stars and movie stars and reality stars, politicians, or YouTubers. Why? Because you're putting your trust in something that ultimately cannot be trusted. People are fallible, and that means they fail. And when we trust in people, we are trusting something that will ultimately fail. Your parents, your spouse, your friends, even your pastor will ultimately fail you if you put your trust in them. And by the way, they will usually fail you at the time you need them the most. That's human nature. That's life. Either they will be powerless to help you in your troubles, or you just won't be a priority for them at that particular time. Springsteen's fans learned that the hard way. In a time when animosity and hatred and strife between the rich and the poor has never been greater in America, Bruce Springsteen decided to take off his mask and reveal his true self. He didn't care about you. 
He cared about the Benjamins, the cash, the money. The common man just wasn't a priority for him, and maybe never was. God wants us to put our trust in him, because he will not fail us. Deuteronomy 31.6, God says, Never will I leave you nor forsake you. To forsake means to forget about. God always keeps his promises. If you are one of God's adopted children, he will not leave you. He will not forget about you. Isaiah 49, verse 15 says, Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Let me stop right there. Yes. Yes, that can and does happen. It's extraordinarily rare, but it does happen. The verse continues, Though she may forget, I will not forget you. Now that's comforting words. So let me ask you, are you putting your trust in God? Have you become one of his adopted children through the blood of his son Jesus Christ? If not, I want to invite you to do that right now. Just talk to God. Even just in your mind, he'll hear you. Tell God that you know you're not good enough to get into heaven on your own. And you believe what Jesus said, that he is the only way to get to the Father. And that he bled and died on the cross to pay the penalty for your sins. And then just receive that free gift of salvation and a new relationship with an all-powerful Heavenly Father who loves you and will never leave you. Maraming salamat for watching. God bless you.